that in? <laughs> oh, look at those odds as well. Split right down the middle, Harry. Yeah, I mean, justifiably so. We don't know what to expect from the Danes, right? That's the key thing. And that's why this matchup is so damn cool to keep an eye on. We get to see them up against some of the big boys. RPK in heaven opening this game up with a kill onto Bubski, no less. So already one of the new boys on the block is taken off the block and onto the chopping block. Now this B site looking to be the object of Astralis' desire as they wrap on round in through Decon. And down Ooh. goes Zai Wu, device besting him. Not the orbs yet, but the Glock holds true. Shocks, it's ugly, it's not pretty, but he nails it the second time around. Apex has followed up in the meantime, and piece by piece, Whoa. Astralis are getting torn apart. S-Tag left in this clutch, trades out onto the USP and darts up through the vent. He's at least locked in a bomb plant for Astralis. Ooh, Apex, yeah. you little saboteur! He might have just ruined this entire round, stuck on the ladder, and S-Tag from heaven does get dropped by Shoxy. Ooh, Apex was almost was, in for some stern words. Was that Apex falling or was it him baiting in, in anticipation of a potential fake, right? There was still plenty of time to plant. S-Tag could have tapped the bomb and gone back for the fight. So I think Apex might, he, he either fell or he was looking to poke his head out on top. Either way, like you said, almost cost them the round. But Shoxy, he's here to stay and he's here to play. Three in the pistol, big work from him down on that B bomb site, killing device, getting a shot through the smoke and even cleaning up the 1v1 onto to S tag, a plant for Astralis. Now it's a big question mark. What do they want to do? Deagles or forcing up with a couple of rifles? Of course they do it to Astralis. They are going to play those percentages like Sonic said and go for the risky buy. I like it. Two AKs, Bubski, he's going quick outdoor. He's looking to drop down the vents with his knife out. They chase him down, but Zai Wu will fall a few feet. S-Tag's also dealt with a man outside, and this has opened a lot up to Astralis, right? You've got Bubski down lower. You've got S-Tag taking out side control. Shox is going to hold back device at ramp, but Magis getting that kill now leaves the options so open to the Danes. If they want to go A, they dart a man back up through the vent. They split that in tandem with a push from S-Tag in main, and they just swarm the site. If they want to try and get down B, they can as well, be it through outside, be it through ramp. There's so many avenues open. Shox gets bested by S tag, the patience is key for Astralis here, and it will be that outside rotate. RPK, while well, he does deal with the first man, Bubski's gonna make a bit of a gamble up through the vent, and that there, that's a fight that didn't need to happen. He tries to jump the gun to deal with RPK, and in doing so, has left a 1v1 open to the tank, who will come to life here, moving into Squeaky Door, the rumble of the tank engine, but Magisk, turning on a dime, is able to find it. Astralis They'll get that first round back immediately with a force buy in the second round. I love how quick these rounds are, right? Like how explosive uh, what, uh, the, the rounds that we uh, are being. Bubski dropping vents. I would chasing him down, falling there. Apex hits a scout shot outside. S-Tag trading and taking so much control. That's something we saw the other day when we watched Astralis take on Fnatic and brutalize Fnatic on Nuke. S-Tag was constantly dropping main, wrapping outside, getting that hell control. And uh, so keep your eyes out for that here in this one too. Apex, he's back to the scout. And uh, Vitality, they force right back in. They don't want to play around with an eco. They want to bring the heat to Astralis. Shots not connecting. Oh, there it is. Device getting slowed, but he will go low and shocks. Finding Magis. Opening kill here for Vitality. Astralis, they're going to get numbers towards Secret, but the question is, what do Vitality want to do about the problem? Do they want to patch it with many players? They actually don't know. They've seen what they may think is a solo man down B, but now many more will follow. Shocks. He is looking so warmed up and ready to go today. He's always scary, man, but it's great seeing this form starting to creep back in. Sharks with the Deagle looking for even more. There's the re-peak, and this time he bows out. He concedes control down here at lower B and falls back into the site. Now Bubski wrapping in through main in the meantime. There's a path carved into this A site by the young gun of Bubski. Rotation back up through secret for S-Tag and Device. 
They're going to look to try and split into A with Bobski taking heaven control with 40 seconds left and Team Vitality going aggressive in through the lobby. They've actually got a man over towards T Roof. That's Masuta. Actually, he's down in lobby, but still he's able to come in and help out at this A site if needed. He gets smoked off. RPK, oh, this God. fight. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Bobski was on his head. He was stepping over the ladder, wondering how come he hasn't fallen. Flash in for Masuta, but he's only good for one. Bobski splitting into the site has helped out from heaven. And now we're into this. Two on three, Apex taking up the heaven position, gets spotted, the Eagle of Zywoog dealt a rough hand, and now just Device tagged up by the scout earlier on in an impossible clutch. Shox is there to solidify it with the hat trick, and Team Vitality, they take a second round. Another 3k for Shox as well, he opened the map with it, he's gonna find Vitality second too. Oh dear, this is a very exciting game. Defuse is fine. Vitality, they got the guns. They got the AKs out of there alive, and all is good in the hood. Astralis, do they want to force back in? They've got the money for it. You can definitely get a couple of AKs here. And yeah, of course, Astralis. Well, no question about it. Right back in with the big boy buy. Zai Wu, dual Berettas. Mate, you got three grand. Buy a rifle. <laughs> I think someone dropped them over, but regardless, playing SMG instead. Can't really blame him with how we're seeing uh, these early forces from Astralis, right? You're, you're going to be expecting pistols. You're going to be expecting faster rounds. He did try and chase the vent the other round with this gun. Astralis going into the lobby. Two outside throwing utilities. Double nades behind red in expectation that someone's crossed, but there's no warp in play just yet for Vitality. I'm so glad that, you know, we've not come into this game with players, especially on Vitality side, which I guess with one more under question, it, you know, coming in not looking warm, right? Shox is looking incredible. We've had some great rounds from RPK here. Apex hitting scout shots. This time it's ramp taken. Obski anticipating a hell side peak. There's no one there and they know it now. It's clear for the Molotov. This gives us the room to rotate lower. Vitality, now they've got two in B, but they're actually coming back out through secret outside. So, you know, trying to gain control, but in the process, they lose so much on B. Gambling the fact that Astralis won't commit with five towards that plant, and that's exactly what they're doing. With the fact that Dupree is holding onto this rotate, it's going to make dropping Vent a very difficult deed indeed. So Astralis, this is a great round for them right now. As long as they get this plant in soon, even though Vitality are about to get all this info, there's very little they can do about it. Dupree doesn't realize just how dead he is yet. <laughs> and it's, the answer is very. Whoop, there we go. Zaiwu comes in on the wrap and down goes Dupree, but the bomb is planted in B. Vitality in a five on four retake. Shox is here. Rolling down the line. Good for one before he's traded by Bubski. And now Astralis pack animal grouped up here by the double doors trying to hold down the line. And S tag falls. Bubski, the only man left. 1v2. They open the door. They bait him back. And Zaiwu nails the shot. It gets close, but Zaiwu steps up. Defuse is going to come on in for Vitality. It's a third round on the board. A bomb planted for Astralis. And damage done. The temptation might be there to chance yeah. another force buy. I don't know. I love that idea for Vitality, right? They are fully aware that Astralis are going B in that round, but is no concern of them. They want to find the luck. They want to find the one man cutting off those rotations. They come down from B. They go up secret to outside. They clear that entire position. And then Zywoo flanks lobby and, and takes down Dupree. They knew they had to be someone. You can see the frustration of getting shot in the back there. He was so patient, waiting for that vent rotate. That was by design for Astralis. But when it is too Good to be when it looks too good to be true, it often is. Vitality playing the man up retake, a five on three that gets awfully close, and this one is not close. It's Zywoo with the orb versus pistols. This should be a shooting gallery for him. He gets dinked. Julie's out, two versus one. S tag running him down. Oh, baby, he's gonna die. That's an orb gifted over, but not for long because RPK picks up the pieces of the round with three, and the eco for Astralis not forced back in, falls short. That's fine though because we've got guns following swiftly after. I love that. RPK just deploys like a turret up in heaven. You hear it like, and he's just there, duh, 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 holding it down, not letting them get the orb. I don't think they even saved it. No, either. they didn't. It was too oh. far away. No one was nearby. So that's gone for Zai Wu. Oof. And that there puts him on level level pegging with device on the other side. And there's the danger of buying the AWP into a round where you know the team, has, uh, your opponents have low economy. Obviously, somewhat of it is the fact that, you know, you don't know Astralis whether they're going to force or not in that round. But the fact that they don't, yeah, you get run down by a pistol. S-Tag's never going to have any fear there. Bubski, he got pop flashed by Apex and he 
he's going to get his revenge. Taking down shocks fully blind. Apex through a smoke. And you can already see Vitality scrambling to throw bodies at the problem at that lower site. But this is so early in the round that Astralis, they didn't have a B play in mind from the beginning. So now they go back to the outside smokes. It's not going to be needed. There's no one here to stop them in the yard. Could send them towards secret into this B bomb site. You can see these aren't standard wall of smokes, though. They are the wide ones with the garage cover as well. So plenty of options available to Astralis. If secret's one of them, they're walking into three CTs. I love it, though. They clear out garage. They get the information that outside is completely bare. And right now, they're looking for any hints. They've got their magnifying glasses out. They've got the Sherlock hat on. And they're trying to discover where Vitality might be at. Now, this peek from Zaiwu out from Secret is going to have to be incredibly well-timed to find anything. S-Tag's keeping oh, an eye on oh. it. Does spot the bomb. You're bang on. Masuta taking up his fallen teammate's position has dropped it. 25 seconds. That's a bit of a problem for the Danes. There's only one man nearby who can retrieve it. You can see them scrambling on the minimap to go and help Magisk. He's dealt with the players in secret. And now that they've spotted RPK, they can wipe the sweat off their brow. They know that they get this bomb down. 10 seconds left and RPK... Not going to be able to do much here in this 1v3. That was a terrifying situation, right? Having S-Tag going down there after one match, just had to run and grab that bomb, and you know at any point you can get re from that position. He deals with it. Gets it into the A site. But yeah, if they, if they took down Magis there with the bomb, that might have just been the round straight up as long as RPK could have survived. So very, very close. Balancing on a knife's edge, but it's stabbed in the back of Vitality and Astralis come in with their first proper rifle round. Keep in mind, this has been forces all the way through. That one eco for Astralis, it was made quick work of outside. Vitality have that question in mind as well. They're certainly going to buy here. There's no way you eco this round. You're on the CT side after all. Shut down Astralis' economy before it builds. That's the intention. And they've got the double orb to do it. It's a very weird buy because some players low on money. You've got two SMGs, but you can rely on Zywoo and Shocks. You always can. It's a Vitality mantra. Heavy A side setup. Mizuta going to go inside of the hut. Release on top. Bobski waiting ramp. And we're not going to see any more aggressive moves from Vitality for the time being. They want to hold off, knowing how some of these rounds have gone, knowing how that flash push went for them. So let's see what Astralis have in store. Vitality are going to give them the respect as they should. Outside smoke's going in, but it is all a ruse with only one man crossing behind them. Rest of the gang moving over towards Ramp. They hear the AWP chime in and they know that Shox is here now. Zywoo's all the way back in CT spawn, holding passively towards outside. Masuta getting caught up on top of the hut. That could open up a real liability in this A bomb site. RPK can't stand the test of time. Zywoo. On the rotation, bit of damage. Apex through the vent smoke, a lot deeper than they were ready for, but it doesn't matter. He's only good for one. Shocks last alive, does have this AWP, and maybe if he knew just how... Oh, hello. Drops that smoke to, to feign a fallback into CT. Device boosts Bubski into heaven to hound down this saving player for vitality. Shocks, I think, should have saved himself with that smoke. Going to yeah, be a bit of misdirection. He was also fake, uh, faking the death cam as well. He ran towards spawn while he's doing it. That's why Astralis looks so interested in the CT position. You can see they're going to uh, try and hunt it down at the end as well. Bubsky can even flash device deep if he wants. But uh, Astralis, no need to overplay your hand. And they will hold off. It's going to be their round regardless. That's what they wanted and that's what they get. I already like some of the mis misdirection we're seeing, right? Trying to push Shocks off the ramp with the orb. He does not fall for it. He hangs around. He clears it out. Vitality know it's going to be A. Mizuta is checking door on a timing, but S-Tag with the smoke in his favor, dropped by Mizuta, is able to get that kill. And Device runs in and opens up as well. Vitality do so much damage, but they don't get the kills required. And if you don't kill Astralis at the, the drop of the hat, well, they're going to drop you. Shocks on the solo orb, saved. And Vitality... Nothing else. Oh, there it is. Goodbye, device.
the immediate reposition as well, like wasting yeah. no time in getting down these vents, taking up a hold outside. And this is where Magisk is wandering towards. Oh, Ooh. the no scope from Shox. And he's turned this round on its head. Now, five on three. The only man that Astralis have even seen so far is this AWP in the hands of Shoxy, who once again is quick on his feet, rotating in through ramp, maybe even over here towards outside, which is where Dupree and S-Tag are. Oh. Shox is playing with radar or something. He knows what's going on. There's a player going up above him. Holding in this close angle. Shox has delivered so much already. How much more can we ask of him? He's made noise. He goes back to ramp, and this allows these players to get in through heaven. Zaiwu blindsided. Still two players in the heart, but Dupree has seen feet. He drops down. Bubski trying to hold the line, trying to hold the lobby, and he will. Apex not able to get away with a kill. Leaves it all onto Shox in a 1v3. He would have to ace this round with this saved orb if they want to pick it up, and that smoke in main should seal the deal on the save. Before Bubski even gets his first kill, he is the, the sole reason Astralis win this round, right? And the reason being is as he holds onto Lobby, firstly, saving that orb from device. Secondly, he throws the main smoke as Astralis wrap outside. That means the Vitality players in A, that of which there are many, they were stacked up there with pistols, don't see Astralis cross. Shox runs back to ramp from hell. He might, is he going to get the ace here? Bubski is really hungry this one down, but he's gone. Good. Uh, yeah, as as Bubski, uh, sorry, as Shox is in, a, is in hell, he doesn't realize Astralis are above him, right? Bubski throws in a Molotov from ramp, right? Further faking out this position. That draws Shox back to support his teammate on ramp, and which gives Astralis the room to climb upper. And then, of course, Bubski goes and kills four players. Obviously, that's always appreciated, but the utility alone that he's throwing got Astralis in the position and pulled Vitality away from theirs. No save Dorp either for shocks. I imagine there's going to be a bit of money there. Just saw the reaction from Magis to getting no scoped. Safe to say he wasn't a fan. No. The money is not there. No orb. So that's a, an even bigger kill for Bubsky hunting it down. He saves devices. He removes Shoxies. And Astralis, four to four. As soon as you know it, they're back in control. Oh, fast A play, order of the day, here it comes, rushing on in, Masuta dealt with in heaven, RPK going to try and anchor down this site and he's only good for one, Apex spraying, but not quite connecting the shots needed. Ollied out from main, this A site falls into Astralis hands now. A three on three retake, Vitality, they're definitely going to give this a go and Device doesn't realise it yet, but Shox is sneaking in through the back line. The hunter becomes the hunted back here in the lobby. Shox gets that kill. Device now removed. One of the only players with full health. It's Bobski and S-Tag. The two new boys on the block. The two fresh faces in Astralis. Flash is good. S-Tag's down and out for the count. It's Bobski again left in this clutch. 1v3. Flash in. Oh, no. oh, the accidental jump. Now they know. They know that he's in main. He's tagged on down and surely the 10 second defuse stuck. It's a round for Vitality as they claim a fifth. Scroll Will uses our molding after that one. Poor Bobski, he had a serious shot. He had a serious chance. Even with the plant on the other side of the site, it was a bit of a problem there, but the, the money will be good for Astralis. They got that bomb plant at least. Great trade work for S-Tag, right? Uh, Apex gets a, a lucky kill through the smoke there, but S-Tag comes in second place, trades matches, picks up RBK up and rafters as well. Good opening kills to at least facilitate that A site for Astralis control. These outside flanks have been really, really good. Both times that Vitality have done it, Zaiwu flanking Dupree, and now, uh, you know, Device getting caught by one as well. They've been really, really well timed, and Astralis need to be, remain aware of that. Nice shot. Device finds shocks. He's hiding behind red. Oh dear, there's a strafe there out in the yard. Apex is going to get that clear on top of the box. S-Tag hiding in the smoke, and he can't be seen. Apex is gone. Bubsky's he's found a timing. He wants to push through the ramp smoke, and it may be perfect. Zaiwu's just peeled away, and Bubsky's going to hear that as well. He's calling to his team. Guys, I've got the room. I can hit B. I can go hell, but Zaiwu, oh, he reconsiders it. Bubsky hears the jump back in, and so he won't run to this position. He's hoping Zaiwu's the one to make the mistake. He doesn't want to peel out and die to the AWP. Instead, he's going to use this position for a late lurk as Astralis put pressure on A. 
The longer he waits, the more valuable this position becomes. Bubski on the angle. Zai Wu blindsided and now Heaven. Bubski wrapping in. He took ramp and he, they're not even playing for A. They're taking the B site while Bubski has posted himself up in heaven to cut off these rotations. It's a save for Masuta and RPK. They can't even begin to attempt this two on four retake at the B site, especially not with Bubski being so deep. I love it, man. Bubski, it feels like he's really earned like a lot of respect and responsibility within this squad very, very quickly, right? They're always trusting him on these lurks and he always does such a good job yeah. of getting a lot of usage out of his positions. One thing that we've gotten from both uh, Dupree's interview after Astralis' win against Fnatic and just from Zonic in that quick chat that we had with him is, is that, you know, despite Astralis still wanting to run their system and Magic's taking over calling as he has been doing for a lot of the year now, uh, yeah, Bubski and, and S-Tag are given the respect they're given the uh, the positions they want to play, and that's that's really nice to see. Obviously, sometimes you've got to pull in the reins, right? Sometimes you've got to tell them what to do, but it seems like Bobski needs no advice right now on the T side of Nuke. He looked excellent uh, in that game against Fnatic. It was way more dominant, but uh, yeah, right now, this is the Astralis that we maybe don't know, but we certainly love. And in the future, you know, we, we always have this conversation because we don't really know. Uh, we, we can't uh, get a good answer out of it. But I, 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 I want to know what the long-term plan is for, like, swapping in and out these players, right? Uh, is it going to be tournament-based? Are, are TOs going to start to allow seven-man rosters to sign up to events and then swap per map, per series? We don't know. So there's so many things available for Astralis. This absolute robot of a team continues to get more unpredictable. They really do feel like a robot as well. Like, it's just plug and play. You just put someone in. Yeah, man, he's sick. Right, that'll do. Um, yeah, imagine a world where, like, a five-man Astralis team comes back, but it doesn't feature the same faces from the original. That would be spicy. Device catching Zai Wu here outside. Magisk even going aggressive. Now, RPK, one of these saved rifles, is on the other side of this smoke, oh. but they're going to go through. They're waiting. Magisk and Dupree side by side. No check for RPK, so he nails the first, Ooh. follows up with another, and now he's got the bomb down at his feet. That's a bit of an error that the bomb is so pushed up. There were two players there, so it was never meant to go down like this. But Vitality, you know, by stacking these two players in Garage, they've accidentally set themselves up for a winner of a round here. They've got that bomb. And so now the three remaining on Astralis, they've got to do everything they can to regain this control. Yeah, and Shox is even coming out from lower as well. He's peaking secret, so because Vitality had this bomb, they no longer need to play standard positions or sites. They can purely focus on winning these outside engagements. As tag oh dear, he's low. Shox with a grenade, that's or oh, It looked like it could have done a lot better. He peeks with it to hide behind the smoke, but instead S tag smokes him. It's still an unwinnable round. There's no way Vitality will give him the 2v1 with 18 seconds to spare. That bomb is irretrievable, and the round is unsavable, but S tags going to look for a kill. Hope he can take one down with him. Oh. Big, big brain. Wow. I love that. And they can't stop him. They can't chase him down. No one to find their way down the vents. And even though Vitality win a, an absolute bang of a round, like you said, the mistake of the bomb going first. We, we talked about this earlier in that Sprout game about the RNG of the bomb, right? You kill a player with a bomb, it just flies out into the open. That really flies in the worst direction for Astralis. 26 kills on S-Tag and Bubski combined. 12 on the three remaining players for Astralis. So Astralis who, sorry? Um... <laughs> This is, this is a great look for the two latest additions, right? S-Tag, obviously, in their debut game. Yeah, he didn't give us the crazy numbers we were hoping for, but he doesn't have to. That's the beauty yeah. of him in this squad. And I think he does have a lot more to show us past this fact. Zaiwu's got the AWP over here outside, and S-Tag has been able to run the gauntlet and get by. Apex on rotation down here towards lower. Drops that smoke, and that's going to send Astralis back out of secret for now. Yeah, but they are returning to the outside into this orb. Device looking for a pick. That grenade going too deep. And Apex backing up as a result. Doesn't want to play close to the smoke as it fades. He could get overwhelmed. The spacing of Astralis looking good as they begin to clear these corners. Deep molly for the double doors. 
It's up to Apex now. Device has dropped Zywoo outside. He was still hell. And now that's going to open up a lot of options. If they can get the vent, they can come back up into A. And that seems to be the play. Bubski with a pick into this site. They've actually just returned from Secret, who needs B. And Vitality are coming up with the vent instead. Apex trying to spam. He might have had a chance to get up, but not when he gives away his position. And with that, the round falls in the favor of the Danes. They want to get out with the two M4s. If you hold on to both of these, you can get a pretty decent buy in this next round. You would have four rifles. Masut is able to invest himself. Shox even maybe gets away with this AWP. And at that point, that's perfect. But it does hinge on holding on to not just one, but both of these guns. And if either one of them gets taken away, then that buy is gone for Vitality. Luckily enough, Astralis, they're merciful in this new iteration. They let the guns escape. Six to six, all tied up now. I love how back and forth this is, Harry. I wouldn't want anything else. I think this is the first of a potential and hopeful three-map series, regardless of the result. I think everyone wants to go the distance, apart from Astralis fans. I mean, they, they'd love a, you know, what Astralis do best, which is just stomping their opponents, but... Vitality not making it easy for them right now. Quick pause from the Frenchman. And yeah, that's a question. I think they're working out this money situation right through Zywoo. The orb shocks can buy up a gun and things can look pretty pretty for Estrada. Someone will have to take the hit. I imagine Mizuta maybe with an SMG, but uh, he, he has been on top of the hut roof, right? Playing the perfect position for a worse weapon, I guess. Plus, the Danes, man, they, they kind of deserve like a bit of a a break away from getting used to seeing their team winning all the time, right? Yeah, like, you it's know, not fair. Because now they really want it again. They want to see an Astralis that is just taking scalps left and right. And maybe that's what we're in for with this new iteration of the squad. Zywoo back on that AWP. He's been dropped that over by Shox. He's looking over here towards outside, and there are players trying to cross behind these smokes, but Dupree out into the open. Is this going to prove to be a liability or the thing that opens this round up? Zaiwu holding this angle, and he's not knowing for missing his shots is a man like Zaiwu. Dupree, if he doesn't check it, he's going to get the good old left-right good night. Well, you know they know, but the issue with this angle is you, you don't want to go in front of main and look at Garage. Oh, Zaiwoo, he doesn't wait. He pushes out into the forefront and finds two for one. Bomb dropped again. That has been a repeated problem for Astralis, losing this bomb in the yard. This time it's not in a as awful position, but again, Vitality can play around it. Bumsky, double ramp setup. He's not ready for the second player. He does turn, but it's too little, too late. Apex with seven wins that fight. And Majisk, he is down B. How much salvation is that for Astralis when this package is dropped out in the yard? Shock's clearing lobby. Gets caught by Device. He needs to hit this orb shot if he wants any chance of keeping this round alive. And oh dear, he's been dinked. Cleaned out by RPK. And now Magis B from the start, but it won't make a damn difference. It's a vitality round through and through. Yeah, that, the reason Astralis is so hesitant there as well is, is the, the issue of clearing that angle. It's such an awkward position. If you walk in front of main, not, you're open to three things. You're open to garage, that all from Zaiwu. You're open to, to back a CT and the millions of angles that come with that. And then you're open to main, most importantly, in a swing or anyone playing tucked, looking at the yard cross, which is a very common angle. So, yeah, you often see players get caught from that back garage position. And Zaiwu, well, he doesn't wait for anyone. It's one of those rounds as well where it feels like Astralis, they were trying to, to throw the fake of a B cross before committing to A. And, you know, like the, the way that that danger is normally mitigated is, is if you're going to split the A site, you throw that slightly deeper variation of those outside smokes, right? Which were put down anyway. And normally that cuts off this garage point that Zaiwu was able to hold. As a result of that utility not going in, they didn't have any smokes left when the crunch time came, when they had to deal with that player in garage. And so they weren't able to do that. Vitality keeping the lead in their favor, but just about. It's an eco now for Astralis around that hero AK on Magis that he was able to hold on to. Down through the oh bed. No. Bobski, he does get down. Just about. He's waiting on the ladder. He's waiting for a knife. Bobski, he brings like the, uh, the cheeky flair to this Astralis squad. Oh, ramp is Ooh. free. S-Tag is flying high. 
Shox is already in the B site though. Oh dear, jumping round. I love this movement. Oh my, it's so oh, distracting. Oh. And Dupree is going to find that opening kill. S tag, you little wonder, your little whiz flying around the sky. Device is going to get Apex getting aggressive inside of the lobby. This time a lurk for Astralis. It was even more passive than Vitality were ready for. It's typically been indoor. And now Vitality somehow against what was Glocks and a hero AK need to pick it up. S-Tag, S-Tag, do you have the decoy? Yes, I am decoy. He just runs <laughs> into the site, he hops around, and now he's made it doable for Astralis. RPK at ramp, trying to get back in. But there's the peak Ooh. from S-Tag, gets deleted. No hopping around this time. Zai has gone, no. And Masuta left in the clutch. Magisk is going to nail the shot. It's a seven for Astralis, armed with only pistols and that one AK. I, I don't know how the hell Astralis gets so much ramp control there, right? Uh, Shox is dropping off the back of that vent dive from Bubsky, getting control down secret, but it's only a Glock. It's not something Vitality needs to throw everything at, and that gives Astralis so much room to get out into ramp. Three players coming fast and furious. And boy, oh boy, this is making for one entertaining series right now. I always, a recliner. I always love that guy, man. Yeah. He's such a champion. Shout like. out. Just flexing on us with his setup, and oh, Masuta flexing some lobby control, but it's Bobski with a response and a hell of a response at that. Him and S Tag having a little internal competition, competing for that first place. And S Tag, while he was holding on to it for a very long while, Bobski now neck and neck with him, trying to take the lead between the two of them. Shocks here at ramp would give up a 16th to Bobski on the race to the 30 bomb. Creeping on in. Shox has caught a very good timing here. Dupree is floating between either angle. And actually, he's just looked away. Shox, the timing on this push <laughs> could be perfect. And oh, Bobski turns around, but it dawns on him a little too late. And we're into this two on two. It's Device and Magis, two of the old boys in Astralis to try and secure this eighth round. Apex, he's looking at main. That's where Magis is coming from. They don't really have time to focus on this heaven wrap right now as... This bomb is still dropped in the lobby. Device is going back to pick it back, uh, pick it up rather. Apex still up on A site. Shox is hanging around in trophy room, watching his back. He knows how much room Astralis could have, and now Apex is starting to consider it too. Magis walking into the crosshair. He's aiming high. He's got to pull it down, but Magis ducking below the shot, really making it a problem. That's funny, considering how many times you see players peek on top of the rail. Magis won't do it, and it's that that undoes Apex. Shox coming back up the ladder. He's actually going to wrap the outside, climb up the boxes, but that cuts off valuable time, time that he can't afford with no kick currently. Don't know if there's one dropped up here. It doesn't look like it. And he's running. He's gunning. This is going to be Magis round. Astralis with eight. Shock 17 kills. What's this pistol for Vitality? What have they got in store? They already took the first. Astralis forced up in the second and one. We had a bit of a back and forth that eventually Vitality did, you know, put out to lie. And then Astralis winning their first rifle round. Vitality, they're creepy crawling outside. Magis close behind the boxes. He's got Device supporting him on Hellside as well. Dodging the flash in an instant, quick reaction. He's going to go out for the peak off the back of it. Two kills, bomb dropped. Have a taste of your own medicine vitality. RBK has yet to secure it. He was behind red and the bomb is on the other side. Bubsky, oh, he moves away as Zaiwu gets his timing out ramp and he will double dink him down. It's going to be Apex looking to pick up this package. Man, just holding on to it. Nice little off angle. Apex spots it, but this Glock is not going to be the gun you want in this engagement. Moving into main as well, there is a man for Astralis, that's Dupree, and he is no man, he's more machine as he shuts down two. Zai Wu left in a one versus two of his own, and he needs the three-piece, the hat-trick, to get this round past the keeper, creeping in through secret, USP in hand. Dupree, eyes fixated on secret, he's got Magisk holding onto a main push in case Zai Wu was going to get fancy at the vents. Dupree playing the timing, but he's been spotted. Zaiwu gets the information, but it goes both ways. Magis now knows the whereabouts of Zaiwu as well and repositions accordingly back in the garage. Dupree wiggling on the corner, solidifies it with three, and the main man comes in clutch. It's nine on the board for Astralis as the pistol round goes their way. And nice to see Dupree coming back alive, right? He had a bit of a slow start to this map. He was getting flanked. He was 0 4. He's looking frustrated, but some big kills coming through in this round. That body as well. 
well. The second player do pre kills actually blocks Iwu's head from making you know that fight that little uh, uh, stairwell angle forces him to come out into the open. And Dupree is waiting. Nine to seven. CT is winning both pistol rounds here in this map. Full eco for Vitality. They want nothing to do with the Force Wars, but it was the plant that enticed Astralis in the first place. Vitality don't get as lucky. Oh, <laughs> nice try. s -tag won't let it happen. Device is going to steal his ace, and Shox is going to try and battle versus the USP. It's another pistol round here for Device, and he's going to find them both. Astralis up to 10, and Vitality coming in with guns. Something I am happy about is this is a vitality that's looking hot, you know, like this is a vitality that's looking yeah. good. And and I'm happy about that because Fnatic, they did have like a, a kind of shaky beginning, you know, and that shows through throughout all of their matchups so far. So their victory, or rather Astralis' victory over them, didn't really feel like it was a good eye test. But here versus Vitality, we get to see that benchmark of where Astralis lies. And the fact that we have players like Shox giving us the performance we would hope for only strengthens the feeling that this Astralis squad is one that's looking to do damage. Yeah, and there's no doubt that these guys, of course, would be incredible on LAN, but like coming into online, especially when your your team like Astralis, these guys are on LAN as uh, the core at least, right? The S-Tag has been some time. He sat on the bench on Heroic, and even when he got bought out, he couldn't play till July, so that was always a bit of a shame. But he's here today. Bumski, ho oh, ho, he's done a dink, and he's fallen off. There's the scout collat. No kill, but boy, is that a lot of damage. Device isn't done. He's going to find one and fall off as a Molly hits him. S-Tag's already rotated B. There's a heavy setup for Astralis, but that's not the site Vitality have in mind. Oh, Device, more scout tags, and there's another for Device on the scout. Every one of these kills he's getting an assist on. And Shox falls at the very, very end, but there we go. It's an 11th for Astralis. Magisk and Device with two apiece. And the old boy's getting stuck in now as well. Vitality is back down to a partial investment here as that rifle round did not give the results they were hoping for whatsoever. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird one as well. The fact that Vitality go back up towards A, but they, they already forced Device back. I think they needed that kill, uh, or at least to keep him at the ramp side because they molly him, he goes back up the ladder and he spots the player coming out of the door. So yeah, Vitality kind of pushed him back into A and he's going to deal with them. Oh dear. Falling off late to the silo. That allows Device to cross to red. On a position we really saw Vitality aggress towards in the CT side. One that Astralis was double nading from the beginning of the map, but it's not going to matter here. No one's really putting pressure on in the yard. Device is given a lot of room to move and pick a spot. Wait in the secret. He can be flashed out by s -Tag, who's also supporting in the yard. We saw, you know, a lot of great uh, utility for Astralis, as we should expect, back on train in that game versus Fnatic. Just very back and forth between Bubsky and Dupree, flashing each other into positions. Rush did a nice little highlight on it the other day. So we get spotted running into the heart. Shox tries to peek with it, but Magisk transfers to the feet. Lovely stuff. No one with armor now, so RPK, he's going to take this hero AK, but he's not going to be going in first. Oh, Bobski with the spray down, double kill through the smoke, and S-Tag here to pick up the pieces. Half PK, this AK was entrusted onto him. Let's see why. 1v4, pretty tall order ahead of him, and still has to get past S-Tag. The lack of armor is what's going to make this so impossible, and there it is. S-Tag already learning a trick or two along with Bobski from the rest of the Danes, and that is how to deal with these smokes. You just kill him through it. Yeah, simple. We've been seeing, especially in uh, things being online, lots of players waiting inside of smokes and, and getting those kills right. No longer a radar thing where you can you see them pop up on the radar as the smoke fades, but you're always going to be favored waiting in those smokes. So if people are wondering why, why you often see people doing that, that's why. Not always, right? But uh, it's pretty consistent. Zywoo's on the orb. That's the Alexi B. Molly land behind the hut door so Astralis can push off the back of it. They won't do so yet. They're pressuring Ramp. Dupree gets caught. Oh dear, Mizuta following up. Bumsky gets a taste of his own medicine as he found opening kills through that smoke earlier on on the T side. And Astralis off the back of that Molotov have pushed inside of the hut. 
A man down. Look at They're Simon. not clowning around. Oh, going down the ladder, and he's just dodged death. Little does he know it. Down beneath him, two players lie. Zaiwu seems so aware, and there's oh. Magisk getting domed by Zaiwu. Lobby, no longer a fight that Astralis want to take. Down here towards Ramp for Vitality, they move in with blistering pace, and as they've done that, S-Tag rotates into heaven, drops into A, and that leaves him a long way away from this B site. Device has rotated down. S-Tag still up on A, waiting for a flank that will arrive at some point. Shox is here. Who gets the better of this timing? It's going to be Shox. Annihilating him on the peak, and so for Device, just going to be the save here, holding on to this AWP. It's an eighth on the board for Team Vitality, as that tempered aggression in towards Ramp, then holding Lobby, waiting for those re-peaks, that attempt to regain ground from Astralis, does pay off. Yeah, I like the idea, right? Astralis, they want to be proactive into one of these early gun rounds. They try and take control of the Lobby, comes back to bite them, Vitality keep a lot of players alive, which is also nice to see. They're going to be able to upgrade off the back of it. So hopefully getting some head armor as well, considering he keeps his Kev at 100. Plenty of money, though. Stralis, they are not struggling. Four in a row to start this half, and so we can continue to see buys. Still two players over 100 ADR, keeping up their consistency. S-Tag top fragging as well. Rivaling shocks on the other side, and that's really impressive considering the rounds of Vitality have to their name four less than Astralis. What's the solution now? Do Astralis want to sit back and relax, or are they going to continue to push and poke and prod? Device seems to think so. That scope gets heard. Shocks was so deep, and he calls for the flashbang from Apex to take him down. Nice opening kill from Vitality, and where do they go with this one? S tag still outside. Bubsky's had enough of waiting. Dupree even got legged there by Zai Wu over towards the squeaky door. That's going to be him forming a retreat down here towards Lower Bubsky, donning this orb. Into the lobby he goes, and he hears Vitality moving out of lobby, so he knows he's got a bit of a safe passage to hold this down, and this now enables Astralis to shuffle this defense up. Dupree waiting in secret. Tagged earlier on by Zai Wu. Gets mollied, forced back out of the angle. Match is going to try and hold down Garage, and boy, oh boy, has he got to have a good hold here. A lot of players coming his way, oh. and only good for one. S-Tag now back in CT. Not an angle you're going to see he played much as he peeks over the top of this smoke. They wait, and they wait on the Vitality side. This is slimy, to say the very least. S-Tag has seen Masuta more times than I can count, and now... And Suta getting tagged but not found. It's actually going to be Bubsky reigning in with the next kill. Now Dupree swings oh. out and it's a double for Dupree. Silenced by Shoxy and into this 1v2. Running, gunning, down into the B site. But Bubsky is already here. Looking to be a nuisance down in the lower side. Orp in his hands and grit on his face. It's a round for Bubsky and a round for Astralis. 13 on the board. This guy is one of the best upcoming players in Denmark. I say upcoming like he hasn't been on those big stages before, but Bubsky, he makes such an incredible call there to Astralis. I assume it came out of his mouth. He pushes uh, he pushes the ramp room. He clears that out. Like you said, he hears Vitality leave. And off the back of that, he goes, guys, everyone, go outside. Dupree's dropped vent earlier. He comes in through secret. Two players in that A site for Astralis towards heaven and ramp side go outside. That's being S-Tag and Magis. So Astralis, they've given up A, they've given up B, they've just gone four in yard, or sorry, three in yard with Bubsky still in lobby and are just fully fighting for that outside control. Vitality, they hit wave after wave of Dane. And I love that little tricky smoke from S-Tag as well, right? Dropping it on the stairs, climbing above. Astralis, they got so many tricks up their sleeve. That was a really good call, right? Sitting back on the sites would have been one thing. You know the Vitality are going to eventually commit and just trade their way. But Astralis realized the only way of stopping that happening with a man disadvantage is simply to just put everyone in the yard and not let Vitality get anywhere. Big spray down from Dupree considering his low HP as well. Vitality, full AKs. They had the money for the orb, but they don't want it. That suggests something a little faster. Lots of players in lobby. Are we just going to see a faster A play here from Vitality? It's pretty simple, but sometimes those can be the answers you're looking for. 
The vice is rotating into secret. He's going to get the information that outside is clear, at the very, very least. There is the hot Molotov to force someone out. But oh. three, blind as a bat, and he's lined up two, almost a third. And that sends Vitality oh, back through. Down goes RPK. Shock's trying to rise to the occasion. Has domed the first man. Apex out through the hut. Spotting S-Tag, but double peeked from the site. Now leaves Shock's all alone. 1v3, a lot to do. And he goes radio silent back here. Stacked up with the boxes. Stacked up with the furniture. But Shock's not a man to be slept on. <laughs> 35 seconds left, and just still waiting patiently. I love this setup. Double setup event, that's slimy. But this Molotov on Shocks could give him a means back into the round. He doesn't want to give up his position, though. And there's the swing from S-Tag, 14 on the board. You mentioned, right, like S-Tag throwing down that little creative smoke outside. I love it. Because it's already like they, these two players feel like they're fully bought into the Astralis mindset, yeah. like getting the most out of your utility. I can imagine like when they sit down to do the... The practices together. You know, S-Tag and Bubsky are looking down the schedule. It says here we have three hours for a smoke break. And then it's like, oh, well, it's not <laughs> not actually a smoke break, is it? That's where we just get in servers. We figure out how to be grimy and slimy with the utility. And I love it, man. They seem so well ingrained into this Astralis squad already. Yeah, dropping that smoke outside as well. It's going to deny um, uh, any uh, cross towards red. It actually misses the Glaive one. Oh, dear. That molly is a problem. S tag chews him up. That as... was the bomb as well. Oh dear. Yeah, Apex needs to get that one down, but he's already been pushed back. Mazuta finding a kill into that lower site. There's still two more rotations here for Astralis. Forget S tag killing everyone outside and the bomb there as well. Astralis aren't waiting around. I love how proactive this is. Their rotates have been on the mark every single time, even when Vitality have faked out and got back to A. Astralis don't fall for it. That just will fall. And RPK follows. Astralis, map point on their pick. Nuke is going well. And I mean, it's a force buy. It's a force buy against 15 for Vitality, who, yeah, you know, first half, it was competitive. We were split right down the middle. Yeah. It was 8-7, right, with... Uh, Astralis just narrowly leading the way, but since moving over, they've managed one round on this T side. What's the game plan here for Vitality? What's the get out clause? Molly's behind the vent and nades towards main. Astralis just hold on. Bubsky's even pushing ramp. He's close to the smoke. Zywoo so making noise. Got to be very careful. That deep flash. If anything, blinds Zywoo more than it blinds Bubsky. He's going to go through. He's going to flank. Even though Vitality are barely getting into the site. Even if they do, Bubsky's right behind. It doesn't matter. Do 